Oh, that was awful. Flatliners stars Ellen Page, Diego Luna, and Nina Dobrev and focuses around five medical students who tried out these experiments where they stop your heart to try to record brain activity as you're dead and just see what happens in the afterlife pretty much before coming back. But they do a few too many of these experiments and things start to go horribly wrong. Let's just say that. And not just the fact that this movie sucks. I saw the trailer for this movie and it didn't look good at all. It, if anything, it looked kind of goofy. But apparently this is actually a remake of a movie that came out in 1990 uh, that has the same name uh, and is directed by Joel Schumacher, the same guy who is single-handedly responsible for killing the Batman series in film. We'll get more into that in the next two months. But anyway, for Flatliners, the trailer for this movie looked so stupid and so goofy that I just didn't know what to think of it. And then reviews started coming out. It has 0% on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, I'm like, all right, you know what? Under normal circumstances, I would probably say no. But one, thank God I have movie pass uh, because I would not have gone out of my way to see this and paid the full $17 it costs to see a movie at my local theater. But also, a 0% just always has me fascinated. 0% is a rare rating to get. So going to this movie, I imagined it to be one of those things that's so bad you had to see it to believe it, like Jaws the Revenge or King Kong Lives. And I'm actually very disappointed that it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. The problem with this movie is that it's just very dull. The concept is not that good of a concept anyway. I mean, it actually does have the potential for some really cool ideas, but the problem is is that your characters are as dumb as bricks. For being students in one of the top medical schools in the country, they are so oblivious and dumb. Ellen Page plays the main character who sort of initiates these tests and convinces everyone else to just go along with her and she makes a lot of dumb decisions. This other student, played by James Norton, is probably the dumbest out of everyone. With the way the character is written, you look at this guy and go, no, no, there's no fucking way this guy is a med school student. He should be a jock in college. He should be getting his scholarship through football or something. The only person who's actually really smart in the movie or is the sensible one is Diego Luna because he's the voice of reason and he's actually the one that knows what he's doing throughout the whole movie. In terms of the acting, it's it's fine, I guess. I mean, Diego Luna is probably the most charismatic actor. Ellen Page is just Ellen Page. And Nina Dobrev is just kind of bland here. Nobody really seemed to be giving their all with this movie. It's supposed to be somewhat of a horror movie, but a lot of the horror elements are very, very minimal. It just doesn't have a clear idea of what genre it really wants to be. And when there are moments where horror plays into the movie, it's not effective. You just watch it and go, yeah, okay. That wasn't that scary. The biggest scare you're ever going to get in this movie is a fucking jump scare. And it's so cheap. I... I can't stand jump scares. I'm not going to go in that whole rant about them. Um, jump scares suck. The editing in this movie is also terrible. It feels too long. And then there's some moments where a big event happens. Something that's supposed to be shocking. But then it'll cut away to another scene just like that. And it will completely gloss over a certain event. Like the way the movie opens is terrible. And that opening of the movie doesn't really come back until the end of the second act. And it just comes across as rather goofy. And again, plays into the idea that a lot of these characters are goddamn idiots. So there's not much else I can say about this movie. I tried to think of something that I liked. And the one thing that I'll give credit for this movie, not having seen the original, is that they do something at the end of the second act, beginning of the third act, that I honestly didn't expect them to do. And that's 
the best I could say because overall, Flatliners is just a dull, uninspired, unnecessary remake of a movie that I didn't even know existed. I am actually very disappointed that this wasn't unbelievably bad like that 0% Rotten Tomatoes led me to believe. So it's just more dull. There's nothing super offensive about it, but there's nothing about it all that's good. So don't waste your money on this. If you feel like you have to see this though, there are a few moments that you can unintentionally laugh at, but I would recommend renting or streaming this when it comes out on home video. Grab some friends and some drinks and you might have a good time laughing at some of the sillier moments because uh, I was sitting in front of a group of girls uh, who were laughing and quietly talking throughout bits of the movie, not through the whole movie. And under normal circumstances, I would just want to turn around and just go, shh, because I'm too polite to go, will you shut the fuck up? But given the way that this movie plays out and how just goddamn ludicrous it is, uh, I would just say, you know what guys, I don't blame you for talking. This is dumb, so why not try to make fun of it? And that's my review for Flatliners. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below and tell me what your thoughts are on the movie, if and when you've seen it. And as always, this is The Real Mr. Robinson telling you there's only one.